Imagine a submarine so vast, it houses a swimming pool, a sauna, and even a small gym for its crew. This is the reality aboard the world's largest submarine, the Soviet-designed Typhoon class. Have you ever wondered about the sheer scale and complexity of the most massive submarines ever constructed? What incredible engineering feats make these behemoths of the deep possible? For industrial enthusiasts like you, fascinated by large-scale engineering projects, the Typhoon-class submarine is the ultimate marvel to explore. In this video, we'll dive deep into the awe-inspiring world of the largest submarine ever built. We'll uncover the astonishing specifications, reveal the challenges overcome in its construction, and gain an appreciation for the human ingenuity that brought this titan to life. Join us as we embark on a journey to answer the burning question, just how big is the world's largest submarine? The construction of the Typhoon-class submarine was no small undertaking. It took over a decade of meticulous planning, innovative engineering, and tireless labor to bring this titan of the deep to life. The journey began in the early 1970s at the Rubin Design Bureau in Leningrad. Teams of naval architects and engineers poured over countless designs, striving to create a submarine that would eclipse all others in size and capability. After years of rigorous development, the final blueprint was approved in 1976, and the Severodvinsk shipyard was tasked with turning this ambitious vision into reality. Construction officially commenced in 1977, marking the start of a monumental undertaking that would span nearly a decade. The sheer scale of the project was staggering. The submarine's massive pressure hull required over 7,000 tons of high-strength steel, carefully shaped and welded together with precision. Specialized equipment and innovative construction techniques had to be developed specifically for this project, pushing the boundaries of Soviet naval engineering. As the years went by, the typhoon slowly took shape. The submarine's unique catamaran design began to emerge, with two parallel pressure hulls joined by an astonishing eight compartments. This unconventional layout posed significant challenges during construction, requiring meticulous coordination and problem-solving from the skilled workers at the shipyard. By the early 1980s, the Typhoon's nuclear reactors were installed, and work began on the submarine's sophisticated systems and weaponry. Cutting-edge sonar arrays, advanced navigation equipment, and a formidable arsenal of ballistic missiles were painstakingly integrated into the submarine's structure. Each component had to be rigorously tested and fine-tuned to ensure flawless performance in the unforgiving depths of the ocean. As the deadline approached, the pace of construction intensified. Thousands of workers labored around the clock, driven by a sense of national pride and the knowledge that they were creating something truly extraordinary. Despite the immense pressure and occasional setbacks, the team at Severodvinsk remained focused on their goal, determined to deliver the world's largest submarine on schedule. Finally, in December 1981, after over a decade of tireless effort, the first Typhoon-class submarine was ready for launch. As the massive vessel slid into the icy waters of the White Sea, it marked the culmination of an extraordinary feat of engineering and human perseverance. The Typhoon's construction had pushed the limits of what was thought possible, setting new standards for submarine design and cementing the Soviet Union's status as a naval superpower. In the decades that followed, the Typhoon-class submarine would go on to become a symbol of Soviet ingenuity and military might. Its construction remains a testament to the skill, determination, and vision of the countless individuals who worked tirelessly to bring this marvel of naval engineering to life. But what exactly makes this submarine so special from a technical standpoint? The Typhoon-class submarine boasts an array of mind-boggling technical specifications that solidify its status as the largest submarine ever constructed. At a staggering 175 meters, 574 feet in length, and 23 meters, 75 feet in width, this undersea behemoth is longer than two football fields placed end-to-end -end and as wide as a six-lane highway. Its immense size is further emphasized by its displacement of 48,000 tons when submerged, equivalent to the weight of nearly five Eiffel Towers. To withstand the crushing pressures of the deep ocean, the Typhoon's hulls are constructed from a special high-nickel content steel, meticulously engineered to provide exceptional strength and resilience. This steel is augmented by a double hull design, with an outer hydrodynamic casing and an inner pressure hull, enhancing the submarine's ability to operate safely at extreme depths. 
but the Typhoon's technical marvels extend far beyond its sheer size and robust construction. This submarine is a showcase of cutting-edge technologies that push the boundaries of naval engineering. One of its most remarkable features is the advanced propulsion system, which employs two OK650 pressurized water nuclear reactors. These reactors drive two 50,000 horsepower steam turbines, enabling the Typhoon to reach impressive speeds of up to 27 knots, 50 kilometers an hour, when submerged. To ensure unparalleled stealth capabilities, the Typhoon incorporates specialized sound dampening materials and a unique propeller design that minimizes cavitation, the formation of bubbles that can create detectable noise. These innovations allow the submarine to operate with remarkable silence, evading detection by enemy sonar systems. The Typhoon's own sonar capabilities are equally impressive, with a state-of-the-art hydroacoustic complex that includes both passive and active sonar systems. This advanced suite of sensors allows the crew to detect and track targets at vast distances, providing a crucial tactical advantage in undersea warfare. Perhaps most awe-inspiring is the Typhoon's armament capabilities. This submarine was designed to carry an arsenal of 20 R-39 RIF ballistic missiles, each capable of delivering multiple nuclear warheads with devastating accuracy. The missile launch system known as D-19 is a marvel of engineering in itself, with automated loading mechanisms and specialized ejection systems that allow the missiles to be fired from beneath the surface. In addition to its formidable weaponry, the Typhoon features a host of other innovative technologies that enhance its operational capabilities. These include advanced navigation systems, sophisticated communications equipment, and life support systems that enable the crew to remain submerged for extended periods without the need for external air. The Typhoon's technical specifications and advanced technologies are a testament to the ingenuity and expertise of the Soviet naval engineers who designed and constructed this remarkable submarine. Its unparalleled size, stealth capabilities, and armament make it a true marvel of naval engineering, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in undersea warfare. With such an array of impressive technical features, it's only natural to wonder how the Typhoon stacks up against other submarines in terms of size and capabilities. Let's take a closer look at how this undersea Titan compares to some of the most well-known submarines in the world. When it comes to sheer size, the Typhoon-class submarine dwarfs all other contenders. At 175 meters long and 23 meters wide, it's nearly twice the length of the US Ohio-class submarine, which measures 170 meters. The Typhoon's displacement of 48,000 tons is also unrivaled, with the Ohio class coming in at a distant second with a submerged displacement of 18,750 tons. To put the Typhoon's size into perspective, it's longer than the Washington Monument is tall and has a displacement greater than that of a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier. Its massive dimensions allow for unparalleled crew amenities, including a swimming pool, sauna, and even a small aviary, luxuries unheard of on any other submarine. But the Typhoon's superiority extends beyond its physical dimensions. Its nuclear reactors and steam turbines propel it to speeds of up to 27 knots, 50 kilometers an hour when submerged, outpacing the US Los Angeles-class submarine's top speed of 20 knots, 37 kilometers an hour. The Typhoon's operating depth is estimated to be around 400 meters, surpassing that of the British Vanguard-class submarine, which has a reported maximum depth of 300 meters. In terms of armament, the Typhoon's 20 R-39 RIF ballistic missiles, each capable of carrying 10 nuclear warheads, give it a staggering firepower unmatched by any other submarine. In comparison, the Ohio class carries 24 Trident II missiles, each with up to 8 warheads, while the Vanguard class is armed with 16 Trident II missiles. The Typhoon's missile versatility is also noteworthy. While primarily designed as a strategic nuclear deterrent, its spacious interior and advanced reconnaissance equipment make it suitable for a wide range of missions, including intelligence gathering and special operations. The Ohio class, in contrast, has been adapted into guided missile and special operations variants, but lacks the Typhoon's sheer capacity for multi-role operations. Visually comparing the Typhoon to other submarines underscores its unrivaled scale. An animation showing the Typhoon dwarfing the Ohio, Vanguard, and Los Angeles-class submarines would effectively illustrate its monumental size. A chart comparing key specifications such as length, displacement, speed, depth, and armament 
would provide a clear quantitative comparison of the Typhoon's capabilities. The Typhoon-class submarine is a true colossus of the deep, outclassing all other submarines in size, speed, depth, and firepower. Its unparalleled dimensions and capabilities make it a titan among submarines, a testament to the apex of Soviet naval engineering. But what does it take to operate such a massive and complex vessel? A glimpse into the daily life of the Typhoon's crew reveals the human element behind this technological marvel. Behind the awe-inspiring technical marvels of the Typhoon-class submarine lies a human element that is equally remarkable. Operating the world's largest submarine requires a highly skilled and dedicated crew, capable of handling the complex systems and challenging conditions of extended underwater missions. The Typhoon-class submarine typically carries a crew of 160 to 180 personnel, including officers, enlisted sailors, and specialists. This is a significantly larger crew compared to other submarines, such as the Ohio class, which has a crew of around 155. The Typhoon's vast size allows for more spacious living quarters and amenities, providing a relatively comfortable environment for the crew during their long deployments. Life on board the Typhoon is a well-orchestrated routine, with each crew member having specific roles and responsibilities. The submarine operates on a 24-hour cycle, with the crew divided into shifts to ensure continuous operation of the vessel's systems. The navigation and sonar teams work diligently to maintain the submarine's course and monitor for potential threats, while the engineering department ensures that the nuclear reactors and propulsion systems are functioning optimally. The Typhoon-class submarine is powered by two OK-650 pressurized water nuclear reactors, each capable of producing 190 megawatts of power. These reactors drive two 50,000-horsepower steam turbines, enabling the submarine to operate continuously without the need for refueling. The Typhoon's nuclear power system gives it a virtually unlimited range, restricted only by the food and supplies it can carry for the crew. Maintaining the Typhoon systems is a constant challenge, requiring the skills of highly trained technicians and engineers. The submarine's immense size and complexity necessitate regular maintenance and repairs, which must often be carried out while the vessel is submerged. The crew must be prepared to handle any technical issues that arise, from minor malfunctions to potentially catastrophic failures. The psychological toll of extended underwater missions is another challenge faced by the Typhoon's crew. Living and working in a confined space for months at a time can put a strain on mental health, requiring a strong sense of discipline and camaraderie among the crew. The submarine's amenities such as the swimming pool and sauna provide some respite from the pressures of life underwater, but the isolation and lack of natural light can still take a toll. To mitigate the psychological challenges, the Typhoon's crew undergoes rigorous training and psychological screening. Crew members are taught coping mechanisms and stress management techniques to help them maintain their mental well-being during long deployments. The submarine's command structure also plays a crucial role in maintaining morale, with officers responsible for ensuring the welfare of their subordinates. Despite the challenges, serving on the Typhoon-class submarine is a source of great pride for its crew. They are part of an elite group, entrusted with operating one of the most advanced and powerful vessels ever created. The technical marvels of the submarine are a testament to their skill and dedication, and the human element is what brings this undersea titan to life. The Typhoon-class submarine stands as the pinnacle of naval engineering, a testament to the ingenuity and technological prowess of its creators. Its primary missions include strategic nuclear deterrence and reconnaissance, with its immense size and advanced capabilities allowing it to excel in both roles. One lesser-known fact is that the Typhoon's missile launch system, the D-19, is capable of launching its ballistic missiles from a depth of 50 meters, a feat unmatched by any other submarine. The Typhoon's design also incorporates a unique double-hull structure, with the outer hull providing hydrodynamic efficiency and the inner hull ensuring the submarine's structural integrity at extreme depths. This engineering marvel represents the apex of human achievement in undersea technology, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in naval warfare. For more fascinating deep dives into the world of engineering wonders, be sure to check out our video on the colossal Hibernia oil platform, an offshore drilling behemoth that showcases the latest in oil extraction technologies. Like the Typhoon, the Hibernia platform is a testament to human ingenuity, designed to withstand the harsh conditions of the Arctic while minimizing its environmental impact. 